so today I'm going to be teaching you how to do a four square, a, a tile, a tile slide, yeah. So, once you have your audio and your transitions, you're obviously going to need to split it where you want. So I'll just split it like right in the middle. And then you're going to want to import your pictures. So, yeah, you're not you're not gonna see my pictures <laughs> um but we'll just do a picture of finn because you know why not okay then you're going to press new import photo again and then you're gonna need this overlay screenshot that because you're 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 you know you're gonna need that for the transition so yeah, and then add it to your second picture too. You know, screenshot it and then add it. Okay, then go to your first thing. Press new multi-layer clip. Also, by the way, the app is free. You just you need to pay to use multi-layer clips. So, but anyways, press one and get your picture. And then edit keyframes. Go to however you do your transitions. I'll do mine. I do my transitions like this. Also, no, I'm not using someone else's preset. I'm using mine. I just am too lazy to do it all over again. Okay. And then mirror it and do as you would normally do. But do a slide. It has to be a slide. And then press multi-layer again and press the picture. Not with the transition, just the normal picture. Edit keyframes and do the exact same slide but on the other side so if you did it to the right the first time you're gonna do it to the left and then if you did it to the left you're gonna do it to the right so um oh i did the wrong one hold on um okay and then mirror it again and do the blur the blur doesn't have to be identical but you know and then press new multi-layer then press one and press your first transition so this one see and then press two, and then you're this. This thing, the, you know, the screenshot. Oh, shoot. The screenshot. Okay, and then press t on two, press add mask, shape, and then press this, and then make sure it's on square, and you're gonna drag it to the corner, the pink corner like this. So it's going to be like that. And then press done. And then press two. Replace content. And then your second transition. So it should look like this. Okay. And then press three. And press this again. Press add mask. And do the same thing except go to the blue this time. And not the pink. Done. Three. Replace content. Second transition once again. And it should look like that. It might look a little off the squares, but you can just fix that and, or you could just leave it. Cause it doesn't have to be perfect. It doesn't have to be perfectly identical, just as long as the, you know, as long as the transition's good. And press create, yeah. <laughs> And then press new, on the second one, press new, multi-layer, one. Get your picture, edit keyframes, and how you would do a second. So again, if you did, like, for the first transition on the last thing, if you did right, you go left. But if you did left, you go right. So I did, yeah. And then if you just use these, it would work too. I don't like the look of those that much, though. <laughs> And then mirror it and blur once again. It's like the same thing, just the opposite way. And then again, do it again. But if, you know, how, how I just explained like three times, you're gonna do it again. This looks really complicated, but once you get the hang of it, it's really not. Okay, and then, yeah, mirror, blur. And once again, it does not have to be identical. And then one, press your, wait, did I do it the same way? No press this, your first transition, and then press two, this, add mask, and then go to the pink again, 
Make sure some of the green and red is out and then done. Two, replace content, second transition. And then three, this one, add mask, go to the blue, make sure red and green are still kind of showing. Done. Three, replace content. And then second transition. And then, boom. It should look like this. So yeah, I hope that helped.